here's another um, display book that can be put on your, you know, your bookcase shelf when not in use. But it houses um, what is uh, possibly and very likely a, um, half of a ceremonial spear point. Um, this piece was found in the summer of 2013 along the Saginaw River, this one. And um, it could also be interpreted as a Thunderbird eff effigy. Over on the other side of the book are um, drawings that I've done that, would sh that show the piece um, if it were complete. Um, and again, it's, it's half of this ceremonial spear point. And this is a pretty large size for um, a spear point, which is why I believe it's ceremonial. It measures about four inches long. Also with it in here is a, is a second piece, um, which is a unifacial knife, uh, likely late woodland from Saginaw again. Um, along the bottom edge, you can see that there's a delicate micro flaking that was done. And this again was found in the summer of 2013. These both come, I mean, this truly is a rare piece because ceremonial pieces are hard to find outside of a grave situation. This was not found in context with the grave. It was probably being manufactured uh, and broke down the, the middle. Um, a very unique, interesting, and rather rare piece. We are asking for this set, plus the illustrations and the book and the book display. We're asking $14.99. Um, please write to the email address in the description and I will get you the total cost with shipping. We never charge handling. We always ship within two business days so that you get your item fast and we guarantee that if you're not happy with it within 14 days you are more than welcome to return it for a full refund. showing you two pieces here this is and they go to they um, are for sale together this is a solid base solid graphite of a base from a, a crucible that was used for smelting iron and pigments and different things this was dug out of the Saginaw River bank um, and it is quite a heavy piece it is very silver silver gray in color has a greenish patina as you can see a little bit inside from whatever was it was being used to uh, smelt um, and then a very textured and um, rough surface on the outside very nice patina this is a base of it on the outside and uh, again it's a very heavy piece and this as well as this piece are being sold together this is the side of um, a graphite crucible this is solid graphite um, and this is from about 1900 and actually I believe that these were manufactured here in Saginaw there was and is still a graphite manufacturing company here and uh, again these are, are rather heavy but they are nice display pieces nice specimens of graphite for your um, natural history collection uh, email me at the uh, email address in the description. I'll give you the cost, including shipping. We're asking for these two pieces together, $9.99 plus shipping, no handling, just the actual shipping charge to you. And we'll get them out to you um, within two business days.
And while on the subject of crucibles, here is an almost complete graphite crucible that was dug out of the riverbank again. Um, this measures 14 inches tall by 11 inches across. Resembles uh, an ancient Indian pottery vessel, but of course it's not. Um, I don't know if you can tell in the pictures, a lot of the sparkly silver gray graphite can be seen through. It is solid graphite again. Probably actually made right here in Saginaw. Um, this uh, is a very heavy piece. Very interesting piece. A great display piece for your mineral, rock, natural history display. Um, not too many people will have one exactly like this. Again, it's very heavy. Um, so shipping will probably be a little bit pricey on it, but we'll find the cheapest method to send it to ship it to you. This crucible um, is the only complete one I saw over at the site. There were there are a, a number of incomplete ones. Um, uh, write to the email address in the description, and I will give you the total, including shipping. Um, no handling charges, just shipping, and we'll figure out the the least expensive way to get this to you safely. We ship within two business days and uh, we guarantee that you'll be pleased with this and or any of the items that you buy from us or you can refer, return them within 14 days for a full refund. Here is another specimen from the uh, site on the Saginaw River. Uh, this one is, uh, I call it a sponge stone. It is a greenish gray in color, very porous. And uh, uh, again, it's a nice display piece for your rock mineral collection. Um, it is not rock. It is probably um, pigment that was being melted and used at this foundry for you know whatever their particular purpose was so its actual creation would be about 1900 and uh, again it's a fascinating piece no one else will have anything exactly like this in their collection I'm sure um, we're asking 499 for this plus shipping no handling charges we will send it within two business days to you so write us at the email address in the description and I will give you the full details of uh, how much it'll cost you with shipping and it's guaranteed satisfaction or you can return it for a full refund within 14 days.
nice fossil plate from uh, Alpena, Michigan. This has some interesting pieces in it, which I'll describe in a minute, but this measures about five inches by six inches and is about an inch and a half thick. This has um, a lot of like brachy, uh, not brachiopod, excuse me, but bryozoan uh, and coral, pe coral in it. Um, a fascinating piece, piece of the seafloor from when Michigan was covered by um, warm, shallow saltwater seas at one time before the flood of Noah, and um, or after the flood of Noah, probably I should say. Um, this side also, it's it's rather difficult to see, but. Um, and stay focused, but um, it has uh, coral and bryozoans in this in this piece too. Uh, I mean, on that side too. This piece, though, this side though, is definitely the um, more uh, uh, display part of it because there's more on this side, more detail, more contrast. Um, great piece that would look, be again a nice display piece for a fossil collection. Our Michigan Fossil and Rock Collection. They're asking $3.99 for this plus shipping. Um, no handling charges, just the actual shipping. Um, write to me at the email address in the description and I will get uh, get you the, the total cost with the shipping. We ship within two business days so you don't have to wait a long time when you purchase from us. Um, and again we've been in the mail order business for about 20 years now and have had great customer satisfaction over that time. Here is another interesting piece, again from the same site that the bloodstone came from. Uh, this was from the, uh, the foundry there, and again circa 1900. This is really interesting because it has such a deeply pitted surface. It looks almost like a, like a meteor, um, meteorite, but it's, it's not of course, but it has a really cool textured surface as you can see deeply pitted it would make an awesome display specimen and I'm just going to turn this around for you. It is a very heavy piece too by the way and it is uh, pitted on pretty much all all the sides. Um, its color which is probably a little bit askew on here is uh, uh, a variety of gray colors and, um, uh, and a little bit greenish too. Uh, this side is not so pitted as the other. This looks almost like fossil formation in here, but of course it's not fossil because it's not uh, old enough to be a fossil. But it definitely is a fascinating specimen, a great display piece if you're looking for something really cool to put in your mineral rock fossil display collection. This is a really neat piece. It's a quite heavy piece. I'm thinking probably about eight pounds. Um, again, the uh, my email address is in the description. Uh, is in the description and um, you know email me and I'll send you the total cost with shipping to you we ship very fast have for, for years um, and uh, we'll make sure that it gets to you safely we are asking for this one again $5.99 plus shipping no handling just shipping just the actual shipping cost <music> Okay, I'm going to be showing you quite a few things today um, that are in the collection here at our Natural History and Store, Natural History Store and More um, site. Um, all these pieces are available for sale that I'm going to show you today, and uh, I'll give in the uh, description section I will give you my email address so that you can contact me if you're interested in any of these pieces that you're going to see here and uh, just write me I'll send you the shipping weight and the actual total of the of the uh, pieces now these are um, five bones that were dug uh, here in Saginaw Michigan um, 
out of the foundation of a barn that was built in the 1860s probably one of the oldest barns and it's right in um, the city part of the west side of Saginaw An interesting old building <clears throat> these are <clears throat> not fossils of course but they are very old bones probably some type of farm animal uh, this one in particular is really neat because it comes apart and you can see uh, how porous the bone is inside and um, it fits together really really nicely um, show you the bottom of it and the side this is really an interesting display piece if you have a, a fossil or natural history display even though it's not a fossil um, it's on its way but these other pieces were found at the same place this one is kind of interesting because if you look on this side of it you can see um, rodent gnaw marks you can also see how porous the bone is um, inside the, these are very very hard um, but like I said they've not turned to stone but they are very very hard um, each each piece is kind of um, interesting unique they have a really nice patina um, that shows their their age well and this set of five bones we are offering um, for $5.99 plus shipping and again information of how to contact me for ordering is in the description um, above thank you and I'll be back in just a moment with something else okay up next is what I call Saginaw bloodstone there are one two three four five six seven eight nine pieces here it's not actually stone um, these were found along the Saginaw River banks um, near downtown Saginaw where there at one time back around 1900 had actually been a foundry there and these are I believe melted pigment um, from whatever was being you know smelted there um, this one is particularly interesting it's got like a cave in it um, that goes you know almost all the way through the stone um, the it, it has a beautiful red color to it almost blood red on some of these like um, this one and this one almost a, a deep blood red I think it's deeper than it shows actually on the, on the video and that wasn't supposed to happen but they they won't break um, as I said these were found along the Saginaw River um, and just for your information um, we have been into in mail order sales now um, for about 20 years um, and have had a great record of customer service and fast shipping if you're interested in this set of Saginaw bloodstones there are again there are nine pieces here um, they uh, you know write to me at the email address I, I give in the description and I will send you the the full cost with shipping included um, and that I'm asking for this set of nine stones five ninety nine and uh, um, plus shipping so write me and I will get all the information to you that you need here we have what I call a 3d shadow box book um, I, I build these um, to display you know collections in um, it fits nicely on a bookcase because it has a nice uh, um, spine side and when you open it this particular one has a, a, a DVD of a, a YouTube video that I did about this specific Indian artifact that I'm going to start to describe to you now this is an interesting piece and a very unusual piece this um, is a multi-purpose um, Native American Indian artifact um, and it is from the late woodland period it is made out of Bayport um, nodular chert chopping uh, it was used for chopping grinding it is a pestle it is a chopper on, and it is a knife and uh, I would recommend that you go to my video on on this piece just uh, type into your search engine a multi-purpose late woodland Indian artifact from Saginaw Michigan this um, was from the uh, west side of Saginaw very near the Saginaw River um, so I'm asking for this particular piece $9.99 um, and uh, the address the email address is in the uh, description box please write to me um, and I will give you the uh, total cost with shipping there's no handling charged we will get it to you as it as 
um, inexpensively as we possibly can and um, and uh, we ship usually within not usually we always ship within two business days so please um, feel free to write um, and I will get you all the information on how to order this particular piece Here's another shadow box <coughs> book. This one contains a fossil of a calamite stem. Um, this uh, was found here in Saginaw, and here you can see the stem of the calamite. Fossil of a calamite stem. Um, this uh, was found here in Saginaw. And here you can see the stem of the calamite with the um, ribbing that it very much uh, like a um, like bamboo it has ribs so on this side you have a very nice calamite fossil in a gray red um, Pennsylvanian era shale and on this side you have uh, a photograph of of another stem section and the uh, leaflets that that would have been around the stem section uh, this fossil specimen again was found in the summer of 2013 um, and uh, near the Shiawa Shiawassee Wildlife Refuge but not in it. Um, it's a fine specimen to, to display for your natural history collection. You can leave it in this book, a photograph of, of another stem section and the uh, leaflets that, that would have been around the stem section. Uh, this fossil specimen again was found in the summer of 2013. Um, and uh, near the Shiawa Shiawassee Wildlife Refuge, but not in it. Um, it's a fine specimen to, to display for your natural history collection. You can leave it in this book, or it can be removed for however you wish to display it. We are asking $4.99 for the book display. Um, please email me at the address in the description, and we will get you the total cost without shipping, or excuse me, without handling the total cost with shipping and um, we ship within two business days so you won't be waiting a long time for your item to arrive to you so please uh, please write to me in the uh, to the email address and if you wish to talk directly with us um, write to me and I will provide our, our phone number to you